Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at stretches and compressions. And this time the shape of the graph is going to change. Um, in the other two videos, really the shape didn't change. They just moved left, right, up, or down, or reflected. So the shape really didn't change. But this time we're going to see a definite change in the shape. So I'm going to start with this graph. And I want to perform a horizontal stretch by a factor of 2. So what we first want to do is choose several readable points off of the graph and create a table. So as you can see, what I did was I just read some of those readable points, I cr crossed at the crosshairs, and I was able to create at least four points that were readable. Next, what I want to do is I want to multiply the x values by 2. And let's make sure we understand the connection here. It's a horizontal stretch, horizontal line, x-axis, and that is the value that gets multiplied by 2, is the x value. So my new table of values will be the following. And then when I graph them, you can see the resulting image. Now notice that each point is pulled away from the y-axis. The y-axis, it's stretched. So the red graph actually pulls away from the y-axis, again, it being a stretch. Now let's take a look at the same situation, but this time we're going to perform a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. Vertical is the y-axis, so think of you pulling on the y-axis, you want to stretch it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the y-values by 2. And again, the resulting table of values will be the following. All I've done is multiplied the y-values by 2. Now notice that each point is pulled away from the x-axis. Okay, it's stretched away from the x-axis. So again, there's that opposite connection going on. It's a vertical stretch. Vertical is y, but it's being pulled away from the x. Now let's take a look at compressions. I want you to think of compressions as squashing it. Use a table to perform a horizontal compression by a factor of one half. So again, it's horizontal. So as you can imagine, horizontal x, we are going to multiply each x value by a half, graph those points. Now this time you can see that the graph, the red graph looks like it's been pushed toward the y-axis or compressed towards the y-axis. Okay, in like manner what we want to do now is do the same for a vertical compression. A vertical compression, we're going to multiply each y value by a half. And when we do, we get this. Now as you look at this, you can see it's been squashed, it's been pushed towards the x-axis. So again, a vertical compression pushes it towards the x-axis. So you're kind of squashing it down towards the x-axis. So in conclusion, let's just take a look at this chart. Imagine grasping two points on the graph of a function that lie on opposite sides of the y-axis. If you pull the points away from the y-axis, you create a horizontal stretch. If you push towards the y-axis, you would create a horizontal compression. Now the thing that I want you to make note of on this chart is how do you know it's a stretch or a compression? Well, let's just talk about the factor value. When the factor value is greater than 1, when the absolute value of that is greater than 1, it's going to be a stretch. When it is a fraction between 0 and 1, and notice they're positive numbers, when it is a number in between 0 and 1, so in other words, it's a fraction less than 1 but greater than 0, then it's going to be a compression. So that's where we will conclude this video.